we are, have the ability to find genetic variants which are in a person's DNA blueprint that say this means you are more likely than the person next to you to get, for example, breast cancer or prostate cancer. And we can therefore use this sort of information to say, well, if we know you're more likely to get prostate or breast or colorectal or ovarian cancer, can we do something about that? Can we clinically intervene to stop you getting cancer? And that is part of a, a, a massive interaction that's going to develop over the coming years between the people who can look at every one of those 3,000 million DNA letters in every individual who comes through CEDARS and the clinical side that will be able to say, well, now we know this is what your personal profile is all about. This is what we're going to do about that. And I think that that is the, the one message about precision health which uh, comes across to me every time. It is multidisciplinary. You cannot just have one person with one expertise answering the questions for you. You need clinicians, bioinformaticians, functional genomicists, and the best technology to be able to find these things.